Gestational diabetes mellitus, also known as GDM, is a disease which occurs when women in their late pregnancy produce high levels of glucose in their blood. It affects approximately 7% of pregnancies. That's not a big deal, right? Well, this 7% represents approximately 200,000 cases annually in the United States alone. That is only 200,000 pregnancies. But in reality, that is 400,000 people since it affects the pregnant woman and the infant. The issue with this disease is that there's no way to screen or test a woman for GDM before they are pregnant. A woman has no idea if she is at risk of obtaining GDM. She can only tell late into the pregnancy if she has this disease. At this point, immediate action must be taken with appropriate medication and dietary strategies. Whether or not the baby and the mother go through a healthy pregnancy, there's still a high chance of the mother and infant to obtain type 2 diabetes in the near future, if diagnosed with GDM. Most individuals have little knowledge of this disease and do not understand that there are different risk factors of GDM that vary with each individual, such as obesity, ethnicity, genetics, and maternal age. Obesity is the number one cause of GDM. If women only knew that their weight impacted the life of a newborn baby, they might consider a healthier lifestyle. GDM is seen more with Hispanics, African Americans, Native Americans, South and East Asian, Pacific Islanders, and indigenous Australian ancestry. In order for this to change, the countries where these rates are higher owe it to their women to provide them with a health care plan that provides proper education. The lack of education is a huge factor in the increase of GDM and all types of diabetes. Unfortunately, there are women all around the world that have been surprised with GDM due to inadequate pre-pregnancy screening methods. Besides a prevention plan, Proper education for women will help fight risks of unhealthy pregnancy due to GDM. Our health care systems must take action and spend more time educating patients and families about this disease. So every minute of every day, the risk of GDM increases among women as well as all types of diabetes. In order for this to change, individuals must obtain knowledge of a healthy diet and nutrition plan during pregnancy. So in conclusion, prevention plans given by the American Diabetes Association and other organizations are mere suggestions, but proper education throughout a woman's life on GDM will be key for preventing this disease. So do your part, read books, take classes, ask your physician, but join the American Diabetes Association and educate yourself and spread the word of GDM to others any way you can, keeping your infant and yourself out of danger. Thank you.